first memories of Big G was um, probably back when I got robbed my freshman year. And um, it was the first few weeks that I was in high school and as a freshman I was real nervous or whatever. And <clears throat> he was one of the first security guards that I ever got to meet with and talk with. And uh, from there I tried out for the basketball team. And initially I didn't make it, but they gave me an opportunity when I talked with them to uh, be on the squad as a 15 player. And I, I remember one of the first practices, um, Big G came up to me, you know, and he said, he said, what's your name? I said, Brent Tanaka. He's like, Tanaka? Man, we're gonna call you Tanaka Swan, mm -hmm. you know? And, and from then on, my nickname and kind of my identity was uh, Tanaka Swan to my teammates and friends. And um, having that basketball family, you know, really helped me through that, you know, difficult time. Um, Big G always believed in me. You know, he inspired many, you know, you know as people can tell you. And um, what's great is that I got to know him not only as a security guard and not only as a basketball coach, but, you know, as a musician and a good friend. And um, I rem I'll always remember it. My father and I went to the Seattle Center, and he was with Lady A and the, uh, the punk baby blues band. And uh, he was playing the bass guitar, you know, he had, <laughs> he had a little dress and had his shades on, and just jamming out, vibing. And they're doing uh, William Devon's Be Thankful for What You Got, you know, and it was, it was just a special time to see, you know, Big G doing his thing and, and really appreciating him. And uh, he gave me, he gave us a shout out, you know, during during his performance. But I'll always keep Big G in my heart, you know, because he believed in me when I really needed it, and uh, he inspired me. So Big G, we miss you, R.I.P. Um, I send my love to you know the whole family and all that. So anyway, take it easy. It's your boy Sanaka Song, working for the West Coast. See you.